baby, you want a bite? No? Look. Mmm. Do you want to take a bite? Mmm. Is that yummy? You want more? Yummy. Is that so good? Hi guys, welcome back to the House of Hughes and welcome to another video. As you can see, Blakely is taking some yummy bites of mommy's breakfast. I want? Yeah, you want a bite? Here baby. Yummy. I am just making a shake with Halo Top. This is the peanut butter flavor and the chocolate Fair Life protein as a little protein shake. But when I opened up the ice cream, Sissy really wanted a bite. I also can't help but mention, look how adorable she looks in this cute new little outfit with her little bow. Yeah, it's a treat. Mmm, yummy. Our mornings have just been so precious. Blakely and I have had so much one-on-one -on -one time while Beckham is at preschool. Mmm. And it is just insane to me, you guys, that Beckham is gone literally every day from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., except for on Saturdays and Sundays, which is just such a big adjustment because I'm so used to being outnumbered and having two kids, which is just the craziest thing. But as you can tell by today's title, it is so exciting because we finally got Beckham's bus lined up. Is that too big? Hmm. Really? Yeah. We finally got Beckham's bus lined up, as you can tell by today's That's title. And when I say that Hunter got the cutest clip, you guys, this clip is one of my favorites I've ever gotten for YouTube, and I'm going to be inserting it for you. It is so adorable. It is Beckham being loaded into his bus this morning, and I'm also going to film when he gets dropped off, so you guys can kind of see the process of the bus picking him up and bringing him home from preschool. This has obviously been so nice for Hunter and I because it is incredible to have that much help. The school is really close to us, but then picking him up and taking him home just makes it really easy for Hunter and I to be able to continue to have our normal schedules in the morning and not have to take Blakely and all of those good things. So we are so grateful. And Beckham has been loving it. The aides on the bus told me that he has been doing phenomenal, that he just is quiet and super well behaved, which sounds exactly like him while they're riding the bus. But in this clip, Beckham looks so happy just to be getting on the bus and kind of fascinated. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that for you guys because I think you're going to absolutely love it. And then of course I will be filming them dropping him off as well. So I will go ahead and insert that clip for you here. Job being brave, Bubba's. Okay, was that not just the cutest clip ever? The aides were so sweet. They didn't mind if Hunter filmed at all, which is just so nice for them to be supportive of us wanting to get that content of Beckham. And he was just so intrigued by the bus. He thought it was so cool. And yesterday was actually the first day that he took it, but we of course didn't want to like film on the first day. We just wanted to get to know the bus driver and the aides. And they have all just been so sweet and accommodating. It is so nice to just have the bus come and pick him up and take him home. It takes so much pressure off of Hunter and I. I cannot wait for him to get home. I miss him so much every morning. And it's kind of sad because Hunter only gets like an hour with him every day now but we do get all of the weekends together, which is really nice. But as soon as he gets home, we will check in with him. And it's really nice because the aides will give me like an update on how he did on the bus that day. But I know my little Mr. Beckham, I'm sure he is just like so calm, cool, and collected like he always is. But I'll be for sure to give you guys that update. So Blakely and I are just gonna have fun this morning. I also need to show you guys my master bedroom. I told you I was gonna do this in the last video and I literally forgot, so I'm so sorry about that but I will definitely be showing you our completed updated master, which I'm so excited about. Really quickly before moving on with today's video, I am so excited to thank our sponsors, Aura. Aura is an identity theft protection, fraud management, VPN, password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy app. 
So I don't know if you guys know this, but identity theft is the fastest growing crime in America, which is extremely terrifying. I know the Hunter has had instances with his company specifically where people have gotten a hold of their passwords, bank information, and it is so important to be aware of this so that you can take action to prevent it. And that's exactly what Aura is going to help you guys do. Aura is actually going to monitor the dark web for you and check for any emails, passwords, social security numbers, and it will send alerts directly to your phone so that you're notified immediately. These alerts are going to be in real time. So if someone was trying to open a card in your name or open a loan or something dangerous like that, you will be alerted immediately. Obviously this is shocking when it happens and you always think it's not going to happen to me, but unfortunately it is a reality. And like I said, Hunter and I have literally had personal experience with problems like this. So having Aura is absolutely vital for us and a non-negotiable. And it just leaves us so much more at peace with all of our personal personal information, especially with both of us owning our own businesses. Aura's VPN actually allows you to stay anonymous online by keeping your browsing history and your personal information encrypted. They were kind enough to give me a link for you guys to go have a 14 day free trial. I know you are going to absolutely love it. I will put that link up here on the screen for you guys. Go to aura.com slash Hughes. And that is how you can get started with your 14 day free trial. Thank you so much to Aura again for sponsoring today's video. And I really hope that you guys guys enjoy this free trial. Once again, I would highly, highly recommend it. It's definitely brought Hunter and I a lot of peace of mind and it's something that is just a non-negotiable for us now. You're looking so beautiful Chloe? today. Yeah, is that Chloe? Yeah, Chloe. Yeah, that's Chloe. Do you have blueberries? Blueberries, huh? Okay. Yeah, you've been loving those, huh? Wow. Yeah, it's a good break from all the Cheetos you've been having because you're a little addict, aren't you? I like yeah, oh, whoa, did Chloe try to get it? Yeah, that is the craziest thing. Blakely has been doing so good with letting me do her hair. What, baby? Do you want more? More? More, good girl, I'll get you some more blueberries. Can you say more blueberries? Good job. I love her talking. It literally melts my heart. She's starting to kind of couple words together and get a couple little phrases. And I just love that her own little language is something only I can really understand. Hunter understands a lot of it too, but it's just so cute to hear her repeat words and see how she says things. Good job, baby. Is that a blueberry? Can you say blueberry? Yeah, got it on your hand. What hand? Hand. Can you show me your elbow? Oh. Elbow? Hello. No, that's your hair. Oh, but that is your bow, so very close. Remember, this is your elbow. Elbow. Hair. Hair, good girl. Oh my sissy girl, you are so cute. It's criminal. Yeah, do you love bread? She is so cute, you guys. I seriously cannot handle it. I love bread. Yeah, you have bread. Good girl. Is that so yummy? Mmm, mmm. When she likes something, she goes, mmm, mmm. It's so cute. <laughs> Yum. Oh. <laughs> she kisses the ice cream. You are kidding me. Can you blow me kisses, Sissy? Oh, thank you. Okay, I am so excited to show you guys my entire room. As you can see, we have this mirror here in the corner. So I'm just gonna back up a little bit so you guys can get like the full view. So we have a mirror in this corner with a tree that still needs like a little pot to go around the base. So just ignore the cardboard box. I'm working on that. And the big touch that we added are these curtains. 
I cannot believe how big of a difference it made in the room. It just makes it look so coastal and so warm. I'll back up just a little bit so you guys can get like the full view from our doorway. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. That is a gold rod across the top, which I love pulling a little bit of gold in. And then of course you guys have already seen our bed and our new nightstands and lamps, which I just like love the way it all came together. I also feel like the color of the curtains just accent everything else in the room perfectly. And I got the curtains off of Amazon. So they were actually super affordable. I will totally link them below for you guys. And I also feel like this comforter that I got, it's oversized. So this is a king bed. And I love that it comes down to the floor on every single side of the bed. I think I got it from Downlight Bedding and it was only a couple hundred dollars, which I personally felt was a great price for what I was getting. And that just kind of completes the bedroom. I'm so excited that I finally got to show you guys the finished product. I am just so happy with how everything turned out. So the only thing that I really have left to do is changing the light in the ceiling, but that can kind of happen later or just like whenever I have time or have a penny to spare. And then I do want to get a new pot for that tree. So I might, if I have time, go do that today. It is unlikely. I might try to do it over the weekend when Hunter can watch the kids, but I'm going to try to find one that's affordable. And I have a friend who loves like DIY projects. So I might pay her to paint it for me if I find a good one that's in like a different color. So that way I can kind of customize it to make it fit the room for a little bit cheaper. This seriously feels so weird. Blakely and I are going to go to Costco. We're going to get some gas. We need to restock on like our chicken nuggets, our berries, and only taking one child. You guys, it is so easy. <laughs> When you only have one baby with you, you're not outnumbered. So we're just gonna go on some adventures by ourselves. Sis is sitting in Beckham's car seat. It's the exact same car seat as her car seat because daddy has her car seat in his truck. So thank goodness I only have one baby right now or we wouldn't be able to leave. But it's honestly so much fun. Like I'm so excited to go on little adventures with her even if it's as simple as shopping. So we're gonna get out of here so we can be back within an hour before Beckham gets home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so we've arrived back home. Let me explain my uh, situation with my hair. Costco was very successful. Blakely, absolute angel. It was so cute. She kept giving me hugs in the cart. And I was just trying to get in and out because Beckham should be home within the next 15 minutes, which is perfect. We just pulled into the garage. Sissy's back there yawning. But I have this like weird headache going on. I don't get headaches. I never get headaches. And like I thought it was my ponytail so I like took my hair out but it's like still there and I took my pony out like 10 minutes ago so I don't know what's going on with that I have four videos to edit today so I'm just like please for the love of everything dad what about mom who gave you ice cream this morning mama no mama mom say mommy mom little stinker but i'm really hoping that i can get through the day so we'll see how it goes but i'm excited to show you guys back when he gets home because so cute okay this is what i got at costco i love their produce so i picked up some strawberries and this pre-made salad kit and then i got these chicken skewers which i already broke into to give blakely a little piece she is obsessed with chicken so she loves these little skewers. She's gonna come up and ask for more. And then I got these Just Bear Chicken Nuggets. Hunter and I are both obsessed with these. Our entire family eats these. They taste like the chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A. They are so good. Excuse me, sissy. Come on, baby, we gotta get down. I'll get you some more. And I will also add these chicken skewers to this pre-made salad. Yeah, you want some strawberries? Yeah, I'll get you some strawberries. Got some lunch for Sissy before she goes down for her nap. We've got strawberries and chicken. And Beckham should be home anytime. And then I will feed him and also put him down for a nap. I think that Bubba's here. Mama calling you an angel. Is that cool? An angel. You are, an angel. You are baby. <laughs> Excuse me, mister. Did you have the best day at school? You're so cute. We just love his bus drivers. They're just the nicest. They take such good care of him and they just treat him like such an angel. I'm so grateful.
Susie. Are you playing with your toy, my handsome little guy? I can just tell how tired he is. He must have done a lot in school today. I will say one thing that I've noticed already that has really improved since he started going to school is he eats his baby food packet so well for me when he gets home from school. And I think that's because of a couple different things. Number one, he gets worn out at school because he's working really hard. But number two, his first and second meal of the day are just a little bit further apart than normal, which I think is really beneficial because it makes him more hungry and more motivated to eat. So overall, I think it's just been a really positive experience. <laughs> and clearly he agrees. Yeah, is that so, baby? You think it's been so positive? Do you like school? I can just tell that he loves it. He is so happy. I mean, he's always happy, but it's really been so beneficial. So we are really excited about it. I'm gonna lay this cute little guy down for a nap because I can tell that he is so tired. Hi. I bet he's gonna give me a hug. He always gives me a hug when I'm sitting right here. Hi. Mwah. Can I have a hug? Can I have a hug? I think he knows what that word is. <gasps> Mama, thank you, hug, hug, hug. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Hug. That was so cute. I think he knows what a hug is. Hug, hug. He is literally so precious. Okay, what I was gonna say is, while I'm waiting for my chicken nuggets to be done, and he's about to go down for his nap, but really quickly, I want to show you guys how I help him practice with his left hand. So basically what I will do here, I'm actually gonna switch him sides. Here we go, hi, I'm over here. He's like, where did she go? Look, and I'm gonna help him. I basically just guide his hand. Wow. I'll kind of just guide his elbow so he kind of feels like he's doing it. Good. Good, baby. Oh, good. And of course, he favors that left hand. So I'm helping him practice with this right. I know it's a little bit harder. Look. Wow. Totally use that hand too. You could use both. Good. Oh. Wow. Cool. Okay, can we try both? Yeah, I bet we can. Good. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Look. Reach for it. Can you get it? Hello. Here, let's have this hand help us. Let's have this hand help us. <gasps> wow. Good, good job opening your hand, babe. So you see how we kind of opened up after a minute. And really, when it comes to helping Beckham with occupational therapy, it's just being patient and repetition. Are mommy's chicken nuggets ready? Okay, I just wanted to show you guys that really quick before I put him down. Mwah. Some of you might think I'm crazy, but I love my chicken nuggets just slightly burnt. These look so, so good. And then I am just having a little bit of my protein coffee here on the side, and I am just going to work my life away. Blakely woke up yesterday during nap time, and she only slept for an hour. So that was difficult, so I have even more to do today. So I'm really, really cherishing nap time today. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it was kind of fun to spend the morning with Blakely and I and to see Beckham on the cute little bus. It's just so cute. And I love being able to share these milestones with you guys. I also wanted to say thank you so much for all of the love and support on Beckham's first day of preschool video. Hunter and I were so overwhelmed with how sweet the comments were. I honestly love you so much. This is the best community ever. And it is so exciting to share these important days and memories with you guys that we get to have with Beckham. Of course, I want to remind you guys to be brave like Beckham and if you haven't hit that red subscribe button yet be sure to do so down below and join our family and we will catch you guys in our next vlog bye